This is my second time filming this video because I just, I didn't like how it went the first time, so we're just gonna do it again. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different because there's just, there's something that I learned about a few years ago that I just really wanna share with you guys <laughs> because it occurred to me that not everybody knows about this, which is unfortunate because it is something. I really think that <laughs> it will enrich your life knowing about this thing and that is the Phineas and Ferb stage musical also known as Phineas and Ferb best live show ever. Where do we start with this? Where do we start? So basically for background I have always loved musicals especially like in my adult years I have just fallen in love with musicals and whenever I get into a new hyperfixation I always imagine it as a stage musical which works really well for things like Has Been Hotel and Professor Layton. Uh, doesn't work so well for things like Spider-Verse like there was already a Spider-Man musical and it did not go well. So whenever I get into something, I always like imagine it as a musical. And one thing that I got into only three years ago, so I was very late to the party, but that was Phineas and Ferb. And my goodness, would Phineas and Ferb be an amazing musical? Because we've seen it with the SpongeBob musical. It can be done. It can be done. You can make a beautifully written musical out of a children's cartoon. It is possible, it has been done, and it has been done well. And Phineas and Ferb, my goodness, if it got the SpongeBob treatment, it would be just like amazing. So that brings us to the actual Phineas and Ferb musical, because believe it or not, Phineas and Ferb did get the musical treatment, but it did not go well at all. <laughs> Back in 2012, there was a stage musical for Phineas and Ferb called Phineas and Ferb Best Live Show Ever, and it toured around various parts of North America, and it was... <sighs> to start off, um, the plot of this musical I'm not gonna go really far into because it it there's not a lot happening. Basically, it starts out with Phineas and Ferb as their animated versions on a big projector screen, and they go into the real world, and they come out as like real, real people. And this is where things immediately go awry, because the costumes for this show are really the whole reason why I'm making this video. This is- <laughs> ah! This, <laughs> this is- this is- like, things went so spectacularly off the rails when they did the costumes for this show that it's, it's just so cursed that I have to show you. So, some of the characters are in mascot suits, and some of them are not. And, you know, mascot suits can work, but like, when you see Phineas's triangular shaped face from the front, all is lost. Like, it's not good. Um, so this is what Phineas and Ferb look like in the musical. Pretty much what you'd expect. But then we get to the characters who are not in mascot suits. And oh my gosh. So we have Candace, we have Jeremy, we have Baljeet, and then we have various other characters from the show. And I just have so many questions. When you see the stock images where they like take out where the mask meets the face, you can kind of see what they're going for, but like it's still horrifying. <laughs> for Candace, I have so many different questions. Um, why is her hair like that? It's just, it's not a wig, it's just a piece of foam. The eyes are horrifying, don't like that. The other question I have is why does she have like fabric on her arms when they're just arms? Like why can't it just be her bare arms? I don't no. They do this with all the characters, like they all have like these full like fabric skin suits. That sounds really gross, but that's really what it comes down to. And it's just... Why? Everybody else in the stage musical, you know, we have Buford, we have Doofenshmirtz, and we have Perry the Platypus, and they are all in mascot suits. And honestly, I don't have a big problem with the mascot suits, um, because like... That's what I'd expect from one of these musicals. I wouldn't expect these weird kind of half mascot suits, half real person amalgamations that we got for everyone else. If everybody was in a mascot suit, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But just like the fact that it's these weird with the with the big eyes, I have so many questions. <laughs> Fun fact, this musical was supposed to come back on Broadway a few years back and there was so much fan outrage that they actually canceled it a few weeks later, citing that there was just such a 
terrible negative response that it wasn't even worth them putting on the musical. Which is such a shame because like, by all means, put on this musical. Like, make Phineas and Ferb into a stage musical, but just don't do it like this. There was so much potential. I think it's totally fine for like these shows to exist. I am not like bashing these children's live shows. I think that that's a fun opportunity for kids to like get to see the characters in real life, and, like hear some of the songs and maybe be like introduced to the theatrical experience. You know, this might be their gateway into enjoying actual musicals. And I think that's really, really nice. But I just, I just wish that they had done the costumes differently. That's all, that's all I want, right? Like the plot can be lame and it can just be an excuse to sing Phineas and Ferb songs because Phineas and Ferb songs slap, like they are, so good. So like, honestly, do what you gotta do, but just please don't do this. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I just wanted to share this with you guys because um, every so often I will like bug my friends by sending them just out of context photos from the Phineas and Ferb live show, just to be that way. And I realized that like not everybody knows about this cursed Phineas and Ferb musical. And so I really wanted to share it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys all next time. But until then, head of bases, please be sure to take care. Bye.